We can count the life cells and the dead cells, and then we can stop. At the Kenya AIDS Vaccine Institute Kavi Laboratory, scientists are busy analyzing sample cells from volunteers in the AIDS vaccine trials. It has been a relentless search for the last 15 years of the existence of CAVI, prolonged by the evasive nature of the human immunodeficiency virus. Robert Langat, one of the research scientists at CAVI, says AIDS vaccine development is a laborious three-phase process. The first one is basically for the safety, where we take a small number of uh, volunteers, people who are low risk, HIV negative, because we are looking for the safety and a bit of efficacy. Then if that vaccine works, it's safe and it shows some uh, efficacy, then we now take on to phase two. Phase two is a multi-site and we enroll a number of volunteers. The scientists here are primarily seeking information on the safety of the vaccine and how effective it is in preventing HIV infection. Yeah, so what we do if the vaccine is promising and it has gone to phase two, and the phase two now is not showing uh, the, the cutoff or the criteria for showing the efficacy and the correlates of protection, because again, the vaccine can work, shows immune responses in vaccine, uh, uh, volunteers, but it doesn't show the correlates of protection. So we have to correlate the protection, the immune responses. Is it offering protection to these people? Are these volunteers not getting HIV? Or uh, they are getting HIV even though there is the, uh, immune response? Then if it's not working or showing enough immune response or correlates of protection, then we take it back. To the, we go back to the drawing board and find out how can we improve this vaccine further. It is research work like this that is expected to make difference in HIV-AIDS narrative and in turn ensure that there are no new infections. Kavi Director Professor Omu Onzala says preventing infections is the surest way of combating the AIDS pandemic. Because the process is usually that you get exposed to an infectious agent, you get infected, all right? Then that infection leads to disease. And then if nothing is done, you either survive because maybe your immunity has been able to get rid of the infection or you die. That demarcation must be very clear. A vaccine that will stop you from getting infected, not a vaccine that will modify the disease, meaning that you can still get infected, only that you don't develop the disease. Professor Anzala says time has come for countries like Kenya to accelerate research and evidence generation towards the achievement of a Kenya aid strategic framework goal. So we want to be able to prioritize and be able to see that this kind of infrastructure that we now have and the kind of human resource can be sustained to research on HIV but also for the government to, to decide what are the other priority areas in terms of infectious disease. And then sustain us to see, can we also do research to develop vaccines in, this other, in these other areas. It is a journey that has taken years of research, and it could take even more before a vaccine is found. But scientists say the prospects are promising. One HIV vaccine candidate, Canaripox, which was a trial in Thailand, showed a 30% efficacy and is now undergoing more trials to enhance its success. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel One, News Hour.